Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. Good evening, welcome to South Asia Newsline. I'm Skarim Zimik. Here are the top stories we're tracking for you on Tuesday, the 5th of May. Indian ministers review COVID-19 outbreak as country witnesses surge in cases. Afghan presidential palace reports progress in political negotiations. And hotspot with fresh COVID-19 cases sealed in Nepal, tally reaches 82. And now for all the details, a group of ministers meeting on Tuesday reviewed preparedness and actions for COVID-19 management in India as the number of cases crossed the 46,000 mark. This came a day after the country entered the third phase of a nationwide lockdown with some relaxations. As India battles a sudden surge in coronavirus cases, a group of ministers on Tuesday held a detailed review of the situation arising out of the outbreak in the country. The 14th high-level meeting chaired by India's Health Minister Dr. Harshwardhan discussed the current status, preparedness and actions for management of coronavirus. India's COVID-19 count saw the biggest spike on Tuesday as the country recorded 3,900 fresh cases in the last 24 hours, taking the tally to 46,433 with at least 1,568 deaths reported so far. This came a day after the country entered the third phase of a nationwide lockdown until May 17, with some considerable relaxations depending on containment zones. Health Ministry officials said the recovery rate has risen to 27.41%. However, the spike in cases continues to be a matter of concern. In the past 24 we confirmed cases और डेस्क की संख्या में अब तक का हाईएस्ट इंक्रीज नोट किया है हम एक इंफेक्शियस डिजीज से डील कर रहे हैं इसलिए टाइमली रिपोर्टिंग ऑफ केसेस एंड देयर मैनेजमेंट इज वेरी क्रूशियल मीनवाइल इंडियन प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी ऑन मंडे पार्टिसिपेटेड इन अ वर्चुअल समिट ऑफ द नॉन अलाइंड मूवमेंट और नैम over the global coronavirus situation. In his intervention PM Modi highlighted India's efforts to fight the pandemic as well as sending medical supplies to 123 countries, out of which 59 are member countries of NAM. Pakistani citizens who had been stuck in India due to the coronavirus lockdown returned to their homes on Tuesday after some restrictions were eased. They were screened by doctors before being sent to the country through a Tariwaka border. Pakistani nationals who had been stuck in India due to the coronavirus lockdown returned to their homes on Tuesday, a day after a lockdown imposed to tackle coronavirus was eased. As many as 193 Pakistanis who had come to meet their relatives were screened by doctors before being sent to Pakistan through Atari Vaga border. government शुक्र गुजार हैं कि उन दोनों के ज्यादा एफर्ट्स लगाने के के कारण आज हमें जो है अपनी कंट्री वापस भेज दिया जा रहा है और हम यही दुआ करेंगे कि जल्द से जल्द इस डिजीज से पूरी दुनिया को निजात मिल जाए बहुत अच्छा तावन किया दुआ है दोनों मुल्क शांति से रहें अमन से रहें आने जाने में मसला ना हो क्योंकि हमारी भी फैमिली आए वहां से भी आना जाना बड़ा दिक्कत का काम है अच्छा रहेगा अगर दोनों मिल बांट के रहेंगे the border opened on Tuesday for the first time since the ongoing lockdown began on March 24th. The Indian government last week announced a two-week extension of the nationwide lockdown until May 17th to stop the spread of the virus. Moving on, local traders and businessmen have said they are facing severe losses due to coronavirus lockdown in Gilgit, Baldistan. They blamed due to discriminatory policies of the authorities for their plight and said there is no relief in sight. 
A committee of local traitors and businessmen has alleged that law enforcement agencies are deliberately ignoring the regular assemblies of mass prayers in Gilgit, Baldistan, while ensuring massive losses to small businessmen amid coronavirus lockdown. They blamed due to discriminatory and unprofessional conduct of the authorities amid coronavirus outbreak, they are facing severe problems due to the closure of their businesses and there is no relief in sight. हमारा तो ये एक ताजिर अपना जो है ना मास बैंक के दुकान में बैठा होता है एक ग्राहक आता है उसको बंद करने की क्या जरूरत है अब मस्जिदों में जाओ सब निमाजे पढ़ रहे हैं इनके प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस इनके तकरीर सारी हो रही हैं लेकिन सिर्फ उस ताजिर के पास एक ग्राहक आता है वो ताजिर पे अकेला दुकान में बैठता है इन सब चीजों को बंद कराने की क्या तू बंद है मार्केट्स बंद है तो इसमें जो जितने भी हमारे खातन ने कारोबार स्टार्ट किया था बैंक लोनिंग से ही शुरू शुरू किया था तो हमारे रोज बरोज हमारे ऊपर बैंकिंग का लोन चढ़ रहा है ऊपर से कारोबार बंद है तो मेरी यही एक ही रिक्वेस्ट होगी गवर्नमेंट से रिक्वेस्ट होगी और जो हासी भी है, हैसियत जो जितने भी लोग हैं उनसे मेरी गुजारिश होगी कि आप उन्हीं ऐसे लोगों का मदद करें गिलगित बल्दिस्तान एंड इलीगली ऑक्यूपाइड रीजन विद अ पॉपुलेशन ऑफ अराउंड टू मिलियन हैज रजिस्टर्ड थ्री हंड्रेड सिक्सटी फोर कोरोना वायरस केसेस द लोकल गवर्नमेंट विच टेक्स डिजिशन एट विम्स एंड फैंसीज ऑफ इस्लामाबाद हैज नॉट बीन ऑर्डरिंग इनफ टेस्टिंग पर डे With negligent authorities in place, the region might witness a sudden boom in patients in the coming weeks. In news from Afghanistan, Afghanistan Presidential Palace has reported progress in ending a dispute between President Ashraf Ghani and his political opponent Abdullah Abdullah over the president's post. Presidential spokesman Sadiq Sadiqi said the talks are underway and there has been progress. Afghan Presidential Palace has reported progress in ending the dispute between President Ashraf Ghani and his political opponent Abdullah Abdullah over the president's post. Morning, Presidential spokesman Sadiq Sadiqi while addressing a press conference on Monday said the talks are underway and there has been progress. Abdullah had also reported development in the process earlier and vowed a soon to come political agreement. He said agreements in principle have been achieved. and that talks are underway about details the political tension between ghani and abdullah emerged after the announcement of the election results in february after which both the candidates held separate inaugurations on the same day the political turmoil led to a decision by the united states to cut its annual aid to afghanistan the hope of resolution of the political crisis comes as afghans and experts fear the fight for power is affecting afghanistan's fight against the coronavirus pandemic more on news from afghanistan afghan defense ministry on monday claimed government forces repelled scores of attacks by the taliban in 15 provinces over the past 24 hours despite calls for reduction in violence the taliban has increased attacks on afghan forces Afghanistan's Defense Ministry spokesperson Fawad Aman said on Monday that Afghan National Security and Defense Forces repelled scores of attacks initiated by the Taliban in 15 provinces over the past 24 hours. Despite calls on the international level, the Taliban has increased attacks on Afghan forces. On Sunday, at least 5 Afghan security force members were killed in a Taliban claimed truck bombing in southern Helmand province. The attack took place at a military center where at least 150 members of the Afghan army and intelligence wing were stationed. The continued violence poses an immediate threat to a fragile US Taliban peace deal signed in February as the military is forced to fight an emboldened Taliban with less US support. The United States recorded an increase in Taliban attacks against Afghan forces in March after signing the peace deal, a government watchdog office said last week. contrary to hopes that the deal would lead to a reduction in violence people feeling unwell with covid-19 symptoms gathered outside a hospital in bangladesh capital dhaka to be examined for the deadly virus on monday panic among the citizens is increasing as the country is witnessing a surge in number of coronavirus cases daily
Long queues of people were seen outside a hospital in Bangladesh capital, Dhaka, on Monday as people feeling unwell or worried about being COVID-19 infected gathered with hope of getting a coronavirus test. Some people were seen wearing face masks while sitting on the pavement near Banga Bandhu Sheikh Mujib Medical University as they waited. Some also wore protective suits to prevent the spread of coronavirus. Bangladesh has so far confirmed over 10,000 coronavirus cases with at least 182 deaths. So, I so, third one basically Asha, but I mean, Jehi to third one poses person is actually there. I physically attached to that Asha. So, third test is actually there. I am our routine take up for our journey. I am here for Corona check for that Asha. I am our family safety journey. Our family safety journey. Bangladesh has been in lockdown for over a month due to the coronavirus pandemic, with many businesses shut, although some garment factories have reopened. The government has recently extended the lockdown until mid-May. Nepal's COVID-19 tally on Tuesday reached 82, with seven new cases reported in Nepal Ganj area. With the detection of the new cases, local authorities have imposed complete restriction in movement inside Nepal Ganj starting from Tuesday. Seven new cases of COVID-19 were reported in Nepal, taking the total tally to 82 on Tuesday. The new COVID-19 cases have been identified from Nepal Ganj area of Banke district, making the district to have reported the highest number of coronavirus cases after Udaipur in Nepal. With the detection of the new cases, prohibitory orders have been issued in Nepal Ganj area in order to curb further spread of the deadly virus. The local authorities have imposed complete restriction in movement inside Nepal Ganj starting from Tuesday. According to the health ministry, contact tracing and testing have been expanded. Currently, there are 66 active COVID-19 cases in Nepal, as 16 patients have already returned home after recovery. The number of cases started to rise only in the recent weeks. Nepal, however, has not reported any deaths due to the virus. The famous flooring vegetable market at the iconic Dal Lake in India's Jammu and Kashmir remains open even as the country adheres to a strict coronavirus lockdown. The Union territory, like other parts of India, is under a lockdown until May 17. The famous floating vegetable market at iconic Dal Lake in Srinagar city of India's Jammu and Kashmir remains open even as the country adheres to a strict lockdown to battle the coronavirus. The market opens early morning as vendors make their way in narrow rowing boats filled with vegetables. After collecting vegetables from wholesalers, vendors deliver to various homes along the lake. A vegetable vendor said he is happy that the market has remained open and allows him to continue to earn a living. तो इसकी खासियत ये ये हर जगह जगह पहुंचता है ये फ्राई सब्जी होती है यहां पे शुरू होती है सवेरे कम से कम मॉर्निंग में ये 5:00 बजे स्टार्टिंग होता है 5:30 बजे से लेके 7:30 या 7:00 बजे तक खत्म तो ये सब्जी हम घर घर पे पहुंचाते हैं जैसे मानो यहां पे कम मार्केट आज तक बंद नहीं हुआ है जैसे कोई भी प्रॉब्लम हुई मार्केट यहां का बंद हर कोई मंडी बंद रहे मगर यहां का मंडी बंद नहीं होता है और इसके साथ हर कोई मानो बचता है even though social distancing is a challenge as boats crowd together at the market on the lake, this is still considered to be safer. इनके पास अपना खेती से निकलते अपने खुद बनाते हैं, खुद बेचते हैं उधर हैं ऐसा है। अभी वायरस के से वजह से ये इधर मार्केट चालू रहते हैं, इसलिए कि ये डल्ले के अंदर ही ये सेफ है। मतलब डिस्टेंस रखते हैं दूर-दूर बेचने में, सोशल डिस्टेंस रखते हैं दूर-दूर बेचने के लिए। Jammu and Kashmir, like other parts of India, is under a lockdown till May 17, but essential services have been operational during the lockdown. The region has had 726 positive cases of coronavirus so far. Well, that's all we have for you from South Asia this evening. Now, our viewers can watch the show on SouthAsianewsline.com. You can also visit us on Facebook.com/slash Asia Newsline. And follow us on Twitter at S Asia Newsline. 
That's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time tomorrow. Good night. Subscribe Tag TV YouTube channel and press the notification button.